Today I wanted to quickly look at something I just got from the Disney Store online, although I think it's been available at the parks for longer. This is essentially a Sarlacc, or baby Sarlacc, I guess, in a carrying case that you can sort of carry it around, have it as a pet. Uh, I don't know if it makes sense in-universe for people to actually be doing that, but it's a fun idea. And, of course, I'm a sucker for anything Jabba-related, and there haven't been very many uh, Sarlacc products, you know, merchandise dedicated just to the Sarlacc uh, up until now. So it's kind of fun to, to see something that is just unapologetically a Sarlacc uh, item. So if we look here, you can see uh, the main the main thing is just this case, basically. And then inside, if you look past the windows, you can see that there's a little Sarlacc in there. It's a little hard to see, quite frankly. Uh, it's not helped by the fact that on both sides, the front and the back, they've got these stickers with some text about the Sarlacc and about how to change the batteries and so forth. I do think you could remove these if you so desired, but I don't think I will be doing that. Uh, but, you know, you could you could take them off probably to see the Sarlacc a little bit better. On the front of here, it has some just information about the Sarlacc as a creature. So it says, uh, Name, Sarlacc, diet, anything that stumbles upon it, type, anthropod, home planet, Tatooine. Information. I don't know how well you can see this. The Sarlacc rests in the sand known as the Great Pit of Carcoon, buried except for its massive mouth and beaked tongue. They are long-lived rare creatures that swallow their prey whole and alive. So, yeah, uh, this, of course, does have the kind of beak that they added for the special edition of Return of the Jedi. Uh, for those of you who may not remember that, uh, the Sarlacc used to be basically just a big hole <laughs> with with these kind of spikes in it, and then they added the chomping beak later on. I'm not a huge fan of the beak, but it's all right. So the main thing with this, uh, the main, I guess, feature of this product is that it is battery-powered, and it's essentially a piggy bank in some sense. So uh, you've got here on the bottom, well, this is where you put the batteries, and then this is the master power switch that you can switch on. And if you do that, and you put it down here, you can open up the top, theoretically. There it is. And once you get the top open a certain amount, it will activate the sounds and also the tentacles moving so we can Take a look at that from the top, get a better look. Looks pretty cool from there, actually. You can't really see it, again, that well from the sides, but not too bad. And in addition to just being able to do that, you can take a coin of some kind and just drop it down into the mouth of the Sarlacc. And it'll just disappear. I thought maybe, you know, it would have some sort of extra thing that happens when you add a coin in there, but no, it doesn't really seem to affect it at all. And if you want to get your coins back, let me close that up. Uh, there's a little, where'd it go? Here it is. There's a little door that opens up here that you can open up. There's not a lot of room in here. You could hold, I mean, probably a few dozen coins, theoretically. I don't know. It's not really meant for storing a lot of money. It's just kind of a fun little thing to drop in there. So uh, that's pretty much it, honestly. There's not a lot to this. It cost $40, $39.99. And uh, I mean, it's Disney. This is the kind of thing that you would pick up at the park as a fun little souvenir. So I, I guess it's okay. It does seem a little bit high, to be quite honest, but uh, I like having it. I like the idea of someone carrying around a little baby Sarlacc in a container like this. So anyway, I just thought I would show it off on the channel and uh, see what you all thought of it. Thanks for watching. As usual, this video was brought to you with the help of the support of my patrons from Patreon, including these palace VIPs and especially Angelica Brady. Thank you all very much for your support. If you'd like to see how you can support the channel for as little as $1 a month, check out the link in the video description.